Hi there, IELTS Master Lee here with an IELTS Master Speaking Strategy video lesson. Today's topic is how to improve fluency with the 432 technique. Improving fluency is a very common problem for IELTS test takers, and it's a question that I get asked very often. Lee, how can I improve my fluency? How can I become more fluent? Well, today we're going to look at one technique you can use on your own to improve your spoken fluency. Let's get started. So first, before we talk about improving fluency, we need to discuss what is IELTS fluency? What is fluency for the IELTS test? Now, if you ask language researchers, they'll say, oh, fluency, that's very difficult to define. Oh, that's okay. Language researchers are language researchers. But for the IELTS, we have these band descriptors that you can see here. So we're going to look at what the IELTS test means by fluency. So first, we have speaking without noticeable effort. If you look at band seven, you can see speaks at length. That's for a long period of time without noticeable effort or loss of coherence. So you can speak without noticeable effort for a long time and logically without going off topic or starting to say crazy things or something like that. Okay, so speaking without noticeable effort. Next is only some language related hesitation, repetition, and or self-correction. So there can be some, there can be a little bit, but you don't want to hesitate. Hesitate is like, uh, oh, uh, uh, hesitate like that. You don't want to hesitate too much. You don't want to repeat yourself too much. And you don't want to correct yourself too much. You can do it a little bit, but not too much. All right. And if you do hesitate, even for a band nine, you can hesitate. Native speakers hesitate. That's normal. Master English speakers hesitate. But you want it to be because you're trying to think about the content and not trying to find words or grammar. And that shows that you're a fluent speaker and a coherent speaker. One thing that I read recently is that examiners, at least in some places, are taught for band seven to think, could I go out with this person and eat dinner with them comfortably and have a comfortable conversation? If the answer is yes, then band seven. If the answer is no, then probably band six or lower. And that's kind of the way that they decide whether someone is going to get a band seven or a band six. All right, so that's fluency. Next, how can you develop fluency? And this is also a very difficult question to answer, but um, there are many ways. In short, in this lesson, we will cover one technique that you can use on your own to develop your fluency. All right, just one. This technique is called the 432 technique. And it was not developed by me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take credit for it. It was developed by the famous vocabulary researcher, Paul Nation, at the Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand. All right, so the 432 technique from Paul Nation. I think it's usually used in language classrooms, but you just change one thing and you can use it on your own to develop your own fluency. Very exciting stuff. So how to do the 432 technique. Well, it's not too difficult, but there are some very important steps, so please pay attention. Number one, prepare notes on a topic. For this, use a topic from the IELTS speaking part two. These are perfect for the 432 technique. Number two, talk about that topic for four minutes. No stopping for four minutes and then take a short break. All right, you gotta maybe have a glass of water, catch your breath, whatever you need to do. But talk about a topic for four minutes and then take a short break. Number three, then talk about the topic for three minutes. Same topic, but shorter time. And then again, the short break. And I'm sure you can guess what's coming next. Number four, finally talk about the topic for two minutes. And that's it. That's the 432 technique. So you're talking about the same topic three times. Four minutes first, three minutes second, and then finally two minutes. All right, let's cover some important notes on the 432 technique. First, while it's best if you have three different people to talk to, you can also do this technique on your own. One thing you want to watch out for is don't try to add different information each time you talk. It can be the same story. The same story is fine. 
the same explanation is fine, the same description is fine, but you're going to shorten it a little bit each time. All right, next, you must repeat the same talk. This is key for developing your fluency. Be sure to reduce the time you speak each time. This encourages your fluency to develop. So you don't need to do a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. It's a 4-3-2. So you're starting with 4 minutes, then on to 3 minutes, and finally 2 minutes. Now, <laughs> before we continue, I have an important question. Does 4-3-2 actually work? I don't want to waste your time. I'm not going to ask you to spend 9 minutes speaking on a technique that doesn't work. So let's talk about it. The short answer is yes, it does work. I've included the research article by Paul Nation in the description of this video. If you're really curious, um, then you're welcome to read it. It is a normal English research article, so it might be a bit difficult, but hey, if you want to, go for it. Um, it's called Improving Speaking Fluency, and I've included a link in the description down below. Um, just a couple more things to summarize if you don't want to read the article. First, in the two minutes after you've spoken twice, your rate of speech increases. So the speed that you're speaking at increases and the number of false starts decreases. Now false starts, I'm talking like um or er, like these hesitations that we talked about before with IELTS fluency. And I've done some other research with IELTS tests and one of the main things that IELTS examiners are looking for is how often you get stuck, how often you stop when they're giving you a fluency score. So decreasing how often you need to stop and think and get stuck for words really helps your fluency score on the IELTS. Next is grammatical and lexical. By lexical, I mean vocabulary. Complexity increases each time. So the grammar you're using is becoming more complex. You've probably heard of complex sentences before. And it's been shown in this research article that the third time these speakers are using more complex sentence structures and more complex higher level vocabulary and at the same time you're also getting rid of unnecessary information okay which is also great for including more content in there and one other thing about this technique is that during the two minute, so the third time you perform, you're going to perform at a higher than normal level. This is pretty amazing because it helps you improve without anyone around you giving you corrections or feedback or anything like that because you're practicing the same thing three times but with less time. All right? So performing at a higher than normal level can actually help you to develop your normal level even more because it shows you where you can be. So the action step for today is to first choose an IELTS speaking part two prompt, and then use the 432 technique to practice it. Record yourself with your cell phone or your computer each time if you can. Then listen to your recordings and notice the difference in your fluency. The third time will probably be a lot more fluent. It's quite interesting. And then practice with it again the next day and keep going, keep working this 432 technique. This isn't something you just do one time and you say, okay, I'm fluent. No, it's nothing like that. You need to practice consistently, be persistent, be patient, and you will definitely succeed. I'm very confident in that. All right, fantastic. Thanks so much for watching this IELTS video lesson. I really appreciate it. If it was useful for you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the little circle on the screen. You can also find us at youtube.com slash IELTSmaster. And last, tell me, what do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments. Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.